Um, greetings, everybody. Um, I guess the best way to start uh, is to talk about how I think about research in terms of research at the margins, right? So when people are trained as traditional researchers, they're always asked about data, site, participants, and the like, right? I often think of that as part of the larger colonial project, right? So if I'm thinking about a process that is attempting to decolonize that, if I'm looking at Linda Tui Y. Smith, who talks about what does it mean to talk with people and engage with folks, not because of a personal investment, but because of an investment beyond yourself, right? So if I think about research in that way, I'm thinking about an investment beyond, and not to use financial uh, terminology, but this commitment beyond oneself, beyond what is written down, beyond what is delivered to academic journals, beyond what is bec becomes a book manuscript, right? So any of those things, I just view as documentation and reference, right? So this thing around reference for people who are interested in, in similar work, so they could actually riff off of it and do something else, and not rip, but riff like a jazz riff in terms of actually use it um, in other directions, take it in other directions, challenge it, but really to push this paradigm around challenging research for the sake of research. Because research in communities has this traditional colonial relationship. Communities have been uh, castigated, maligned, pathologized, uh, it's another good word, uh, perpetually isolated and used as unwillful, uh, unwilling lab rats and cages, right? So this thing around, so if we know that to be true, what are we doing to actively interrupt that, right? And does our work actively interrupt that? Or do we need to speak more into the contradictions as to how our work is complicit in that? Right, because journal articles will ask you in your review, you know, well, where is the data, right? Who, who are you talking to? Who were your participants? So this thing around reframing it, right? So when you have to reframe, and this is a, a colleague of mine always says, we have to engage in a trilingualism, right? So the trilingualism is, what are you trying to say? What are the constraints, the mainstream constraints, and then how are you trying to do it, right? So thinking about that in very explicit ways in terms of uh, research that is centered in justice as determined by the people we're working with, right? So that, that thing around a justice, so, because a lot of times, you know, we get this, we get inundated with this, uh, language around social justice, but we've never really interrogated what it means. Right, so because a lot of times when you're talking about justice, you're really in, in spaces where you are challenged around the contradictions in the spaces that you occupy as a college professor and researcher. Right, so if we're not willing to challenge those things, then I don't know if that ever leans towards this larger arc of justice, right? And justice being determined by the communities and people who are experiencing the injustice. So I think about, that's where I situate my work and it's manifested itself in a number of different ways, but I try to operate from that perspective because I am very clear of the results of the colonial project of academic research in particularly communities of color in urban space. So in, recogni in recognition of that, what do I do differently and how do I actually lean on the universe of other folks who have been doing this uh, well before me? Right, so that, that's how I, I frame and have been framing my work over the last uh, 20 years now in terms of uh, work that I've been doing. 